Okay, does everyone's air feel good? Because okay, mine, so. mine seems fine. <clears throat> now exhale, see, and you can feel your, your exhale right here. Uh, I was wrong. We begin by right. closing the door and creating a completely sealed environment. I have the compressors already on, and I have controls inside of the machine that allow me, through a valve, to open it and to compress it. I open the valve, the machine starts to compress, and I can read through a pressure meter what our pressure is. When we get to 7.5 PSI, I shut the valve off, and we maintain that 7.5 PSI for the remainder of the session. While you're inside, you're breathing through a dive mask, uh, which is diaphragm on demand, 100% medical grade oxygen. At the conclusion of the session, I'll open the exit valve and I'll slowly start to decompress us. This causes um, an exterior sound that's quite loud. It sounds similar to like a jet engine. You'd almost have to hold your ears shut on the outside here um, because of, of the noise. When you're pressurizing, pressure is heat. So it's kind of like a sauna. You're feeling the temperature rise, it causes your body to sweat. But when I decompress, it does the exact opposite. Immediately you start feeling cold air, and it actually starts to freeze the humidity in the air. So your vision uh, becomes limited. It's almost like you're in a cloud. And when I open that uh. door, that cloud comes rushing out. Ha <laughs> ha. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been around for well over 100 years at this point. The first times that they discovered it was actually in the 1600s. It became popular as a result of the bends. Uh, divers would get nitrogen bubbles in their blood and it would get to their joints and cause severe pain. And they discovered that using this would uh, take their pain away, eliminate the, the, the nitrogen in the blood. Uh, over the years, they've applied it to all different kinds of chronic conditions, and uh, it's proven to be extremely beneficial to everything from chronic degenerative diseases, um, hard to reach bacteria that hide in the brain, like Lyme's disease, viruses, uh, it reverses hypoxia. Uh, dilates the vascular system, increases uh, white blood cell count, uh, jumps the immune system up, improves eyesight, uh, increases the IQ, contributes to mental clarity. Uh, the list of known medical benefits is amazingly long, and this has been accumulated over a period of time when the medical establishment has gone out of their way to suppress it. So if they really started to fund and investigate and research, they would find Probably it's even a whole lot better than we think. Oh. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Nick, cheers. Cheers. This is the